welcome. I'm Dr. Alfie O'Shaughnessy. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist with Conceptions Reproductive Associates of Colorado. I'd like to talk to you today about uh, COVID vaccination in women who are trying to get pregnant, women who are pregnant, and women who are breastfeeding. Why is this topic so important? Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation being disseminated on the internet making it very difficult for us to make an educated decision as to whether or not we want to be vaccinated. What is the uh, coronavirus vaccine? Well, it's very different from the flu vaccine that we get on a yearly basis. These vaccines are messenger RNA-based. Um, they degrade very quickly after entering the body. Um, they do not enter the uh, cell nucleus. So, um, and also the vaccine is not an attenuated live virus. These studies that were done prior to releasing these vaccines in the United States, um, not, none of the studies included women who were pregnant. Um, therefore, there's no data to say 100% that this, these vaccines are safe. However, the animal data that was uh, that is available from studies that were done prior to release does show that pregnant animals who received the vaccine had no significant side effects, and there was no teratogenicity associated with the vaccine. The World Health Organization is recommending that pregnant women who are at high risk for contracting COVID, such as healthcare workers, and pregnant women who have comorbidities should be vaccinated. They are not recommended that they are not recommending that um, pregnant women should routinely be vaccinated. Uh, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology and the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine put out a very recent recommendations um, on the 27th of January of this year, which does recommend that all pregnant women be vaccinated if they have access uh, to the vaccine. They're also recommending that women who are breastfeeding should be vaccinated. The misinformation that is being disseminated on the internet uh, concerns women who are trying to get pregnant. And, they, and it states that women may be at higher risk for infertility. Where is this information coming from? Well, it states that um, the spike protein of the coronavirus um, is very similar to a protein in the placenta, so that a woman who is vaccinated will form antibodies against the spike protein um, and thereby may develop antibodies to that protein in the placenta causing infertility. These, uh, this information is completely false. And uh, again, it is recommended uh, that um, sound scientific data uh, be utilized when recommending vaccination in this patient population. The, there are links uh, to these recommendations, both with the uh, American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology and the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, as well as WHO. I highly recommend uh, that you review those before making your decision as to whether or not you should be vaccinated. I'd like to thank you for allowing me to share uh, this information with you, and I hope it was helpful. Thank you.